Welcome back, you all, with money, money, money. And here is our tip of the week. If you're used to freely swiping your credit card and rely heavily on plastic money, think again. Many believe that the interest-free period continues if you pay up the minimum due on your card. If the total amount due is not paid, then you pay an interest on the total amount outstanding. For example, on April 1, you made a purchase of 10,000 rupees. At the end of the billing cycle on the 1st of May, you may pay 1,000 rupees as the minimum amount due. Now, if on the 2nd of May, you make a fresh purchase, say of 15,000 rupees, you will be charged interest on 9,000 rupees pending from April and the fresh purchase of 15,000 rupees. Interest rates may be as high as 40% per annum on every pesa that you spend on that credit card. The grace period could range from 18 to 48 days. However, the interest meter is running on the very day the money is spent without any free credit period if any amount is outstanding from the last billing cycle. Secondly, if you think that your pass codes and identification codes are safe with you and no one can duplicate the card, then you're mistaken. A lot of your personal credit card data is on the magnetic strip that's on your card. When your card is swiped, that data is extracted for verification purposes and it is possible to clone your card using this data and make a duplicate copy. Lastly, don't be under the illusion that if you cancel your card, all your pending payments will get knocked off. Closing a credit card does not reduce your debt burden at all. The lender will not close your account unless you have paid the entire amount due. And when you finally repay your dues and close your card, do remember to collect the certificate from your credit card company. This may be required in case the information is not passed on to the credit rating agency which may continue showing a balance outstanding against your name. All right, viewers, so keep writing to us at money, money, money at network18online.com. You can also find us on Twitter. Write to CNBC TV 18 News and use the hashtag money. Remember, you can also log on to YouTube to catch all of our previous episodes. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next week.